I'm Brian. I'm Ron. And this is, is Retro Trade. Trade. Welcome back, Retro Nation. So, this is a very special episode for me. I get to be joined by my retro best friend, Ron Dagan. Ron, want to say hi to the people? Hi, people. Okay, guys. So, Ron has been there. He has been my go-to gamer for years. Uh, him, his brother, George. George, if you're watching, hi. So, he moved away a little while ago, but he's still... He's he still talks to us. He's still in. Uh, and uh, Randy. Randy, if you're watching, what's up, buddy? So, these have been my go-to gamers. Uh, for Doritos and Surge. Surge. I don't know if anybody remembers Surge. But, God, I drank so much that I don't know if anybody had it again. But, oh, God. <laughs> it upset my stomach the older I got. Yeah. So... We're going to kick in, like I said today, with the uh, PlayStation Mini. So I'm going to do a close-up of that. So the PlayStation Mini, guys, is just what it is. It's a mini PlayStation. Um, it does not open. The other one used to open. Like, it used to pop up. You put the disc in, pop it back down. It was, uh... It's pretty true to the look and shape of it, though. Yeah, I think so. The one feature I did, like you just said, it doesn't open. I wish it did. That would be really cool. Yes. Uh, I agree with that. It, it would have been awesome to have little GameCube games the same size as that. That, to that, play it. that would have been pretty But nice. I know they're too expensive. Yeah, it's just, I mean, it could happen. I would have paid for it. Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. So it's got the, uh, oh, jeez, what am I right? It's got the HDMI port there. So, and it's got the little cell phone charger port that just plugs into a block. Um,. So, if you've never seen this, there's another aspect of it. Yeah, you get the old classic controller, but the game we're going to be playing today is Resident Evil uh, Director Cut, but the Director Cut actually came were playable with the dual controller when it came out with it. So, if you guys have never seen this controller, this is a light controller, like literally light. Like, if this would have been in my childhood, I would have broke this. I threw... Or may have may not thrown controllers as uh, as a young kid. So, but I learned to fix them. I got pretty good at fixing them. Uh, this one didn't have the dual analog sticks that should have been like right down here on it. So it, it is a light. It's got the four bumpers on the top. There's nothing different really. I mean, besides you know the analog sticks. That was where we we came into play. When, when I would try and play this. I get used to using an analog stick, and I want to try and use it. And yeah, they're not there no more. No. There's no sticks there. So uh, that uh, what is it called? Phantom limbs. It's the, like phantom <laughs> sticks. You try and play still. So with this being said here, uh, the PlayStation Mini. It's uh, preloaded with uh, 20, 20 games. Uh, Twenty games. So it's different titles. It's such titles as Resident Evil Director's Cut. Rainbow Six, Rainbow Six, uh, Twisted Metal, Twisted Metal, Odd World, Cypher Filter, yeah, Cypher Filter, uh, Metal Gear Solid, which was my all-time favorite. I don't know, I played that so much. I I beat that game so many times. I, I wasn't good at it. I loved it. I what I liked on the Metal Gear series is how it was interactive. It interacted with your memory card. Oh, yeah. It interacted with, like, the controllers. You plugged the controller into port 2. It changed some of the boss fights. It was really Yeah, that, that was, I think that was the first time my... Uh, it ever interacted yeah, with the game, right. So, uh, with that being said, we're going to go into our first game, which uh, Ron said it was a uh, Resident Evil Director's Cut. So, we're going to go ahead and meet the cast of Resident Evil Director's Cut. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton.
Mecha Chambers. Albert Wesker. Resident Evil. Okay, Retro Nation, so we're back. Uh, what did you think? Uh, you're, you're... He was the gameplay guy on that one, by the way. Thank you, thank you. So, the gameplay skills, a, a little hard to remember. Oh, so, oh, it's not though. There you go. <laughs> so, if you have seen that game in the past, uh, we grew up with that game that was released. Like yeah. I said, uh, it was released back in the 90s. 97, actually. 97. Um, it was... It, it was a good game. It, some, some, some memories. It was a good I mean, game. I'm not going to play it. I'm a watcher on that Resident yeah, Evil stuff. Yeah, watcher watching me play <laughs> I... I... It's not that I hated the game as a kid, but the game had so many jump scares that I was just like, oh, the I can't. The thing it was funny is that uh, growing up, you play Silent Hill. I, I know I, I like Silent Hill. I don't know why, and I, that that was a that was a game too. But I don't know why Resident Evil just got that for me because it was the unpredictable that would happen. Yeah. Walking down a hall, doll come through a window. I mean, and oh yeah, they, they played that really good. I mean, Capcom played that really yeah. really good. The acting might not have been the best, but. And what a cat con. What'd you guys think of the acting skills on the introduction of the cast? Yeah. I I lost it half the time I watch that introduction. But so, I wish I wanted a real movie back then. That would have been really cool. Yeah, it was like uh it was like a uh, Night of the Living Dead, the I first one with the corny acting. 
I, I, you do not talk <laughs> bad about Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> no, Night of the Living Dead is a, is a really good. It's a, it's a really good movie. I don't have anything. So calm down, everybody. Calm down. I, I do like them. I enjoy them myself. But that was our '90s. That was our like '80s, '90s. There was some things had some corny acting in them, which yeah, it still made us laugh. It yeah. was fun. It's good to go back yeah. and see them. But I mean, we thought it was top notch acting back then. Back then, yeah, I mean that was what it was. Um, yeah. So I, I, I do want to mention uh, Retro Trade. We are going to be at Tour Gaming Convention yes. in Columbus, Ohio. Um, it's going to be November 11th and 12th. Uh, we're going to go up on the 10. We're going to do a whole show on uh, the road to tour. Yes. So, with that being said, we're, we're going to we're gonna go to shops, yeah. do interviews at the shop, check out the uh, stuff. It, it, it's it, it's going to be really it, a really good show. Um, so, look for that show to come. Uh, with it being said, we have 24 days before tour. Yeah. So, we're 24 days away. We're actually 24 days, 21 hours, and 54 minutes away from Torg. And Torg is going to have a, a good, I'm sorry, I am looking on my phone so I don't forget to mention anybody, but we're going to have the whole Mario cast. We're going to have Princess Peach, uh, uh, Rosalina, yes. the, 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 the princess from uh, Mario Galaxy. She's going to be there. Uh, Charles, which is the voice of multiple characters in Mario. Yeah. Uh, Mario himself. I, I mentioned uh, the princess. She, she was going to be there. Uh, Samantha Kelly, I believe that's what her name is. Uh, Kenny James, which is the voice of uh, Bowser. Uh, we're going to have, uh, there's going to be multiple uh, YouTube uh, great people on there, we'll say. Uh, Jay from Square Pegs, he's going to be up there. Get a chance to stop and see him, definitely do so. Uh, the Immortal John Hancock, which is another YouTuber, and they are they are amazing. They definitely know their games. Uh uh, Mr. Wright, which does a show called The Right Way, he's going to be there as well. Definitely check him out. Uh, and Gamer Aimer. Uh, Gamer Aimer, she's, she's got an excellent channel as well. Uh, these guys go to multiple conventions. They're, they're great to talk to. So, uh, definitely with that being said. What I'm excited for is the tournament. Oh, yeah, the tournament. So, there's definitely uh, there's different tournaments they're going to have. They have door prizes. So many door prizes as well. I mean, a Jaguar. They're door prizing a Jaguar, guys. If you haven't got your tickets for Torque... Fingers crossed, I get it. <laughs> if you haven't got your tickets for Torque, get them. www.googletorg. Uh, I don't remember what it's called, but it's, it's www.torgamingexpo.com, I believe. Uh, definitely just, just T-O-R-G. Uh, look it up. Put Columbus, Ohio in your Google search. It's it's going to be an amazing yeah. time up there. It really is, and, and we can't wait. We're going to be up there all weekend. So if you run into us, come talk to us. We'd love to talk to you. We'll interview you. We'll put you on the show. It'll be an amazing time. Yeah. Um, so with that being said, thank you guys for watching the show. Um, I hope you had some fun. I'm going to try to have Ron here you know, a couple yeah. more times on a lot more shows. Yeah, I'm hoping. I, I would love to get our other gaming but uh, excuse me, our other gaming buddies, George, Randy. If you're watching, give me a call. L let's let's get you on the show. I'd love to do a whole, yeah. you know, all four of us together. Oh, it, land party! It, yeah. It's a, it's a great time. Land parties. That's a, that's <laughs> a whole one. That's all we used to do with land parties. And for people who don't know what land parties is, we literally have two systems in the same house oh. linked up together. So it was. Uh, it was we, we wanted to get into that. Yeah, that'd be another time. <laughs> it was a good show. So thank you guys. Like I said, if you guys have not liked the video, please do so. It helps us out. We do appreciate it. And subscribe. Definitely subscribe, guys. Uh, like I said, we're anything retro games we talk about. And if you guys want us to talk about a game or you want to see a game on the show, put a comment below. Definitely helps out. So thank you, guys. We just wanted to say. This has been Retro Trade. I'm Brian. I'm Ron.